Hello and welcome to this Dot Frost Maths key skill video on finding the gradient of a straight line which is drawn. So we've got a bunch of different straight lines and we want to find the gradient of each. Now gradient just means how steep a line is and more specifically it means for each one that x increases by, what is the y value changing by in order to get back to the line. So each time we go one across, one to the right, what do we have to go up or down by in order to get back to the line? And whatever that number is here, that will be the gradient. So we can just count squares for this particular exercise here. So let's look at line A first. We want to find the gradient of this. Now start on a grid point where you actually have whole number coordinates. So we could pick this point, for example. That is on 3, 3 here. Now let's look. Each time x increases by 1, as per this definition here, what is the y value changing by? Well, you can see the line is going upwards. And can you see that each time we go right by 1, the y value is increasing by 2 to get back to the line? And it doesn't matter where you do it on the line. If I start here, if I go right 1, I have to go up 2 to get back to the line. And therefore, the gradient of that particular line is 2. What about line B here? Let's start on an integer coordinate where we've got whole numbers, the coordinates here, minus 1, 2. Now, each time x increases by 1, as per this, what is the y value changing by? Well, you can see it's going up by 1. So therefore, the gradient of that line is 1. So we can see this is a shallower gradient than this one. And indeed, this line is not quite as steep as A, is it? That's a much steeper line. What about C? Now, let's start in an integer coordinate. So let's say we started here. And as x increases by 1, that's always the starting point, what's the y value going up by? Well, can you see this is not a whole square? It's less than a whole square. Now, it looks like half, but the way to tell is, look, well, if you went right by two squares, you've gone up one square. So if right by two means one up, then right by one must mean half a square up because then we're going half a square up, half a square up, and then after two squares right, we've gone one square up. So that gradient there is going to be half. What about D? Well, this one seems to be going downhill, so we expect it to be a negative gradient. But let's pick a particular point. If we start here on a whole number coordinate, if we go right one square, one unit, then how many squares do we have to go down? So one, two, three squares before we're back on the line. So we've gone one right and we had to go three down. So the y value changed by minus three. So that means the gradient is minus three. And always check if the line is going uphill, it should be a positive number. If the line is going downhill, it should be a negative number. What about E? This one's harder. If we start on a whole number coordinate, zero, one here. Each time we go right one, oh, it seems to be going down, but only down a fraction of a square. But it's quite hard to tell what fraction of a square is. But look, if you went three squares across, we've gone one square down. So if three right means one down, then can you see that if you just went one square across, then we would only be going a third down. So therefore, that gradient here is negative a third. And finally, F, can you see this line is horizontal? Well, for each square we go one to the right, can you see it's not going up or down? So there's zero movement up or down, and therefore, the gradient is going to be zero. So if the gradient is zero, you have a horizontal line. 